to ensure that only the strongest males end up passing on their genes. And this is a case where there will be more than one winner, far from just one. The queen is usually inseminated by seven to 10 drones. Sometimes their number is higher and the queen may venture out more than once. For the fortunate males, everything ends almost as soon as it begins. Literally everything, including their life. Having caught up with the queen, the drone extends its reproductive organ, the endophallus, inserts it into the female's abdomen, and injects all the sperm into her under enormous pressure. At this moment, the drone literally squeezes out all its juices. He uses almost all of the hemolymph in his body to create an explosive thrust of seminal fluid. This is a kind of hydroshock which sometimes can even be heard without any special equipment. Of course, the drone dies instantly after this. Its abdomen is torn to shreds, and the endophallus detaches and remains in the queen, while the now-dead drone falls lifelessly to the ground. But within a few minutes, the next suitor reaches the queen. He removes the severed endophallus of his deceased predecessor from the queen's abdomen only to repeat the poor fellow's fate. This is how a dozen or two drones end their lives. But for the queen, everything is just beginning. She now carries a priceless treasure, the sperm of several dozen drones. It's invaluable because the female mates only once in her lifetime and then carries the acquired sperm for the rest of her life.